PT Pop here at all four loaves of my brain, securely bound behind my back. And today I want to talk about customers that call into call centers and what you find out about people, what I've discovered about the general population of the United States, of the people that inhabit the United States. Stay tuned. After all these years of working in call centers, I've done kind of a psycho psychological and sociologic study of the population of America. Because that's who I speak to. I don't speak to people in Mexico or Canada or Europe. And it's an interesting analysis because I've discovered something about the people in our country. Is that for the most part, most people that call into call centers are four things. They're stupid, lonely, desperate, and horny. And they're also impulsive. So there's really five things. So stupid, desperate, lonely, horny, and impulsive. And I say stupid because people call in because it, without any knowledge about anything in their lives. And some of them act like they don't even know their own names. I had a friend that worked for Progressive Insurance and he would give quotes to people over the phone in their call center in Cleveland, Ohio. People would call and say, I want a quote for car insurance. And he'd have a series of things he'd have to ask them in order to give them an accurate quote. One was the make and the model of their goddamn car. And people would be like, what do you need the make and the model of my car for? Well, he'd say, how the hell am I supposed to give you a quote if I don't know what kind of damn car you're driving, you moron? People are stupid. I say they're lonely because I would say 50% of the people you call in the call center just want to talk. You know, and I don't mean just the elderly people either. You get lots of lonely people to call in. It's like, well, my wife died three years ago and I haven't been quite the same ever since. Now, I'm not making fun of people who lost a spouse or something like that. <coughs> or a mother or a sibling or a brother or a child. But, you know, I'm sorry, people. We don't have time to sit and be your friend on the phone as much as I'd love to sit and talk with you. It's just not possible. But people just, they're, they're desperate, they're lonely, and they're horny. Oh, my God. I had women, now my voice is bad because I got the flu, but I had women call and say, do you know how to sexier voices? I could listen to you talk all day. I was like, well, that's really great, hon. Um, is there anything else I can help you out with? You know, and I've heard that about my voice as long as I've been doing this, but it doesn't pay the bills, you know? I know for a fact that I could start a phone sex line, but women don't call phone sex lines. Men do. I'd have to talk to old fake, fat claws to the gay bastards on the phone. I'm not about to do that. Can you imagine how awful that job is? Hey, uh, I like your voice there, honey. Yeah. Uh, what are you wearing? I'm wearing, uh, blue jeans and a Cleveland Browns sweatshirt. Oh, oh, it's hot. So this one guy calls in. True story, this guy calls in. He's like, I don't recognize these chargers. He's like, I, I don't recognize these chargers on my bill. Can you tell me what they are? Okay. Now, this was a bill. I was at Verizon Wireless, right? And he's like, uh, I, I, don't, I don't see what these are. <laughs> and I'm like, well, it looks like this is an adult, to an adult service site. And he was like, a, you can tell by the way it's coded whether it's an adult site or not. And he goes, well, can you tell me specifically what site it went to on my phone? And what, what charged me? And I'm like, well, I'll see if the system will let me look it up. So I go over to Google and I pull it up. It was something like, um, I don't know, leathermasters.com or something. <laughs> and it was like an S&M site for gay men. <laughs> this guy's like, <coughs> what, what, what side is it? And I'm like, oh, it's uh, leathermasters.com. He's like, really? What's leathermasters.com? I'm like, oh, it's a, uh, looks like it's an S&M site, sadomasochist 
for gay men. He's like, really? He goes, uh, oh, uh, that sounds pretty weird. I don't know who would do that. I might say, what's that site about? Uh, can you tell me some more about it? And I'm like, look, dude, I, I, you know, what do you want? Uh, I want credit. Again, I want credit for the, the charges. I, I didn't go there. I'm like, Sir, there's no way that we randomly charge your cell phone bill for a leather master's. He goes, oh, okay, you know. You're right, I went there. I'm, I'm kind of into that. Like, okay, well, how can I help you out today? Can you give me credit for that? No, sir, you just told me you went to it. You know, he's, he's personifying the stupidity and the horny and the lonely all in one call, you know. Just can you give me credit? And I'm like, no, you told me you went there. You knowingly went there and you charged it to your phone. And I'm sorry, I can't, unfortunately. And I go, <laughs> he goes, uh, sir, how, how can he help you out? What, how else can he help you out? Today? Well, I want your supervisor. I said, sir, my supervisor is not going to give you credit for it. And he goes, well, I want your supervisor. Give me your supervisor. Go on. How bad do you want my supervisor? I said to him, he goes, what? They go, how bad? Beg me for my supervisor. Beg me. He's like, Please, please give me your supervisor. Please give me a credit. Beg me some more. Beg me. Come on, that's what you're into, right? Please, please give me your supervisor. Please give me credit. Please give me credit. I hung up on him. Like the previous guy was so desperate and lonely that he was trying to get me to help him get off over the phone by talking about a, a leather a sex site uh, over the phone. They all do it. All these men do it. It's not women. You know, women aren't lonely and horny. <coughs> Only men are. <coughs> these guys call in, and I've said it in like two or three other videos. They're like, well, I got these charges on my bill. And uh, you either get the guys that deny the charges, or they're like, they want you to look it up. Can you tell me what that video site was that I got charged $39.99 for? And um, I'll look it up, and like, well, sir, it was Long Dong Love. Yeah, oh, and uh, what's that video site about? Well, it looks like it's a gay porno site, gay gay men that like uh, long penises. Oh, can you say the word penis again, please? I love the way you say penis with your sexy man voice. <sighs> yeah, tell me to say the word penis again, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I've heard more than one guy sound like he's... He's stroking the dolphin on the phone just because he likes my voice or I'm reading to him what the porno says. Right, the heavy breathing starts. <sighs> yeah, oh man. Can you say long dong again? <laughs> yeah, oh, say it. Say it like you mean it. Say it like you mean it. How do we put up with us, man? Oh my God. Oh my God. Damn well won't let go and I'm going. I'm going through the yellow light like everybody else does around here. Going through the lights like a bastard. So they're desperate. I say they're desperate because a lot of people call in, especially in banking. They call in and they're all panicked because they, they've overdrawn their account and we've shut off their debit card and they need money. They're desperate because they're, they always use the story that their baby's gotta eat. My baby. My baby's got to eat and you should have my daddy gone. What am I going to do? <laughs> well, ma'am, you shouldn't have gone to Walmart yesterday and, and bought new shoes and uh, 10 cartons of Marlboro Reds and a video game system that overdrew your account by 450. Well, I needed that video game system. You don't understand. I need the cigarettes to smoke when I'm on the video game system. And uh, it's just crazy what the things you hear on the phone. Yeah, the country's in sad shape, man. And I've been listening to this for years, and it's getting kind of worse. I haven't worked in the call center since, uh, uh, what is it, August or September? And that's when I failed myself, and I failed you, and I took the call center dive. Went back to work in the call center. So I'm, I'm at the park now to walk my dogs. And it was raining. I'm going to see what I can do for them here. See if I don't get... Accosted here by any of the weirdos that live in the woods. There's a lot of homeless people live in the woods around here. I pulled in here one day, and the homeless people, I don't know, they're stealthy. Homeless people are stealthy. They must work on the stealth thing. This lady appears out of nowhere. 
this toothless black lady, and I live in an area where there's not too many black people to begin with, but this toothless black lady comes out of the woods and she walks right up to me and my dogs, and I'm like, I don't know, I was picking my ass or something. She's like, hey, hey, can you wear a tan? Hey, can you tell me where Dano Road is? Dano Road. I'm like, Dano Road, there's no Dano Road around here. There ain't, there ain't no Dano Road. Ah. I'm like, oh my God. She's just like, ah. I'm like, good Lord, lady, go back in the woods and shoot on a tree or something. Please leave me alone. All right, PT Pop signing off here. Have a good day. All visas ain't.